this video I'm going to download and configure Magento into the Ubuntu operating system. And Magento is an open source e-commerce platform that we're going to use for setting up a website. Now there are a couple prerequisites that we're going to need before we actually can actually begin. One of them is make sure your Ubuntu is up to date. Second one is make sure you've got LAMP server installed. Third one is make sure you've got PHP MyAdmin installed. And the last one is a recommendation, not necessarily a requirement, and that is to make sure you have the PHP mail function uh, configured. I do have videos on all four of these tasks. So let's go ahead and begin. I'm going to go ahead and configure my database to be used with the Magento. And when your web browser loads up, go ahead and go to the localhost slash phpMyAdmin page, which is the interface we have for phpMyAdmin. The default username is root. And the password you would have typed in when you set up phpMyAdmin, go ahead and enter in for the password. We're going to go ahead and create the database for Magento. Now that's a quick, easy way to do, a uh, quick, easy way to actually install this. Uh, just go ahead and type in Magento here, in this box here, and go ahead and hit Create. And this is going to go ahead and create us that database. Now it does say there's no tables involved, which is okay, because Magento will actually install all the tables we need. So now we've got a database actually created uh, to be used with the Magento package. So I'm going to go ahead and close this. And a couple more things we're going to do. We're going to first change the permissions of our www folder. Now this is where our websites actually get um, set up. This is the default directory for them. And at the current configuration with Ubuntu, we're not allowed to modify that one. So we're going to go ahead and change that so we can modify that one. And so here's your command. sudo chmod 777 space then you've got the directory which is a forward slash var forward slash www we'll go ahead and hit enter and type in the password for the user and now we can actually modify that folder so let's go ahead and download the package for magento and the website for magento commerce is going to be uh, just magentocommerce.com and we're going to go ahead and click on the download link and download magento they're going to give us a few options to choose from here. I'm going to go ahead and choose the tarball that's zipped up right here. And we'll go ahead and hit download. And I'm going to go ahead and skip the creating account. We'll just go ahead and download the package. And I'm going to choose to save the file. Alright, the file's been downloaded, so let's go ahead and extract it and move it over to our www folder. This is going to be under places, downloads. And I'm going to go ahead and right click on that, choose extract here. And once it's extracted, we're going to go ahead and double click inside the folder. And I'm going to do control A to highlight everything and control C to copy it all. Click over here to file system, scroll down to the ver folder and our www folder. Now here's the default file for our LAMP servers set up. I'm going to go ahead and delete that and now control V or paste it into our www folder and now that the files have been downloaded and moved over to the www folder we're going to go ahead and change our hosts file so I'm going to go ahead and go to applications accessories and terminal and the host file is, is going to be used um, to direct our web browser back to our own site, our own our own computer, uh, based off of our domain name. So I'm going to go ahead and type in sudo gedit space forward slash etsy forward slash hosts. Now this is all lowercase. And make sure you have the s after the hosts file. Hit enter. We're going to go ahead and tell the, our computer whenever we type in our domain name for our website since I'll be assuming that we're going to set this up for a live computer uh, we're going to go ahead and use the actual domain name to set this up. Now we need this whenever we configure Magento because it's going to go ahead and take that name and implement it into the actual package. So I'm going to go ahead and type in 127.0.0.1 hit the tab key and now type in the name of your site and I'm just going to go ahead and just use my Magento site.com 
and whatever domain name you have already registered for your site set that up if you don't have one temporary you can temporarily just choose one that you may later on use but I'm gonna go ahead and use my magento site.com hit the save close this and now I can go ahead and close my terminal so now let's go ahead and begin setting up our site open up your web browser and let's go ahead and type in the site we just said my magentosite.com and it's going to go ahead and take us to our configuration wizard so I'm going to go ahead and agree to the terms and conditions hit continue and I'll go ahead and configure it for my area set this to US Eastern Time and now that it's been set up for Eastern Time I'll go ahead and hit continue and what we've got here now is some folders that actually need some permissions changed so I'm going to go ahead and open up the terminal and actually make these changes now I'll go ahead and make the terminal down here and we'll make it a little bit longer so we can see everything I type in I'm going to go ahead and type in sudo chmod777 space and then this first folder forward slash fair forward slash www forward slash app forward slash etsy hit the enter and we're going to go ahead and hit the up arrow which is going to go ahead and type in everything again and we'll just backspace a little bit here to type in the second folders information so I'll go ahead and hit enter now and we're going to go ahead now hit the up arrow and come back and type in media now before you actually hit enter on media I want to make one change I want to make this so that it changes the permissions for all the folders and files within the media there are several ones in that folder so we're going to go ahead and type that capital R for recursively uh, to apply these settings we'll go ahead and hit enter alright now the permissions have been changed I'm going to go ahead and minimize this and hit the refresh alright after hitting refresh it looks like I'm going to need to install one more thing so I'm going to go ahead and bring the terminal up and we're going to go ahead and type in sudo app get install php5 dash curl and hit enter and it's going to go ahead and install this for us alright now it looks like it already has installed it for us so what I'm going to go ahead and do is just restart the Apache web server so I'm going to type in sudo space forward slash etsy forward slash init dot, dot d forward slash apache 2 space restart and then hit enter and this is going to go ahead and restart our web server for us with a new configuration for the PHP. I'm going to go ahead and minimize that and hit refresh. And it should bring us back to our site. There it is. Now I can go ahead and type in my configuration information. So localhost is what we've got in here for host. That's what typically we want to have in here for our database. That tells us we're going to use our computer. Magento is the name of the database I did create uh, using PHP my admin. Now the username root is the default for our database uh, so we're going to go ahead and leave that as root for this configuration and the password we typed in when we configured our database so I'm going to go ahead and type that in if, as you notice my magento site.com is uh, already listed in here this is why it's important to set up that host file the admin path for the admin user and we're going to go ahead and hit continue and this may take a moment here to actually set up everything but we're going to go ahead and wait for this to set up and now we're going to go ahead and tap in their information to be used for the site. And if you look down here, it does have an encryption key. I'm not going to type anything in for the encryption key so you can actually see what is provided. But if you want to type one in, you can go ahead and type that in. Go ahead and hit continue. And now, as you can see, we're all set. So we've got our key here that we're going to use for encryption. So I would keep that in a safe spot as it, as it says. So now there's two ends for us to set up. We've got the uh, front end, which I'll click on the front end here and the back end. The back end is for you, the user, to configure your website and the front end is what the user sees. And So we'll go ahead and type in our information here and the password that we just set up to log in and this is what the front end looks like and for the, for the user to actually see the website 
and the back end is loading up here and this is the back end now already set up for us and this is what you the administrator of the website will use to actually configure it and this concludes the video on setting up Magento in the Ubuntu operating system.